Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to disable all check constraints in SQL Server database. The query I'm going to provide you that will be able to provide you the scripts to disable all the constraints, but you don't have to if you don't need. So we can filter the for only the constraints we want. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here, think about a scenario where you are working as a SQL Server developer or ETL developer and you need to load a lot of data to your one of the table or maybe it is a uh, one of the table called DBO customer and you have a check constraint already there so or uh, you are loading the data to the employee USA table and uh, you have the constraints there so right here and uh, for this data load uh, you don't really care or uh, uh, you have exception uh, whatever the data is coming you want to load uh, you don't want to implement uh, the check constraint on uh, those on, on the incoming data so in that case uh, you might want to go ahead and disable as you feel uh, there is uh, uh, some data that does not qualify according to the check constraint rules uh, or expressions uh, so I'm going to provide you the script uh, here so we are uh, selecting uh, the data or the columns uh, from uh, sys.checkconstraints view so I'm say, just creating this query. So uh, give me the database name. So DB underscore name is going to give me the database name. Schema name uh, function is going to give me the schema name. I'm using the schema ID. So this will uh, convert uh, the schema ID into schema name and provide me that. And the object name will be the, give me the object name. Uh, and it will use the parent object ID. These columns are used from sys.checkconstraints. So this is just the information. Uh, I want to create uh, with my query and a definition what is the definition of the check constraint uh, then uh, I'm using uh, this uh, static values and some columns uh, to generate my alter uh, table script uh, for the disable check constraint uh, so this is how it will be when we have to create the script for uh, disabling a, a check constraint we have to say alter table and table name uh, so schema and table name then you say no check and constraint keyword and have to provide the constraint name so this is exactly I'm doing so I have alter table these are static values I added the parentheses around so if there is some space for my schema name or table name I do not have to have get error so I will just ignore that if I have the spaces so this will parentheses will take care of that or even sometime we have hyphen in the names so let's say customer name so in cases where we ha have hyphen we need to have uh, these uh, parentheses around the object name otherwise we we'll get error so that's uh, the good practice uh, always have the parentheses around your object names uh. then uh, here I'm using uh, the schema name so I use the, the schema name function and get uh, the schema name uh, and uh, use the schema ID and get the schema name then uh, I'm uh, getting the table uh, name by using the object name uh, function and I had to provide parent object ID as a parameter that's uh, uh, coming from this is dot uh, check constraints view and then I'm just putting the static uh, um, va values or static string here say no check and constraint so this is the part I'm generating here and then finally I'm saying a uh, table name and so it is uh, the name of the constraint uh, coming from this uh, view and finally I'm saying uh, only give me or generate me the scripts of where uh, the the uh, check constraints uh, are enabled uh, so that's where it is disabled zero that means uh, give me only the uh, check constraints uh, if they are enabled so run this one you see that uh, this query is generated uh, we have a db name table schema table name definition uh, why i'm creating all that so you can see what exactly you have and then uh, the alter scripts uh, so copy the alter scripts uh, and uh, we can go ahead and run this statement uh, once we run that, uh, it is uh, going to disable uh, the check constraints. Um, and when you can disable the check constraint, uh, you can insert anything what you have uh, as uh, as long as uh, you can fit into the data type of the column. And the uh, check constraint will no more uh, uh, do the validation. So, okay, run that. Fine. Now, this is it. And if we run this one again, we will get no re records because all the constraints are disabled. Um, especially the check constraint we are talking about when I say all the constraint that doesn't mean default or foreign key primary key and all that I'm talking about the check constraint as we have executed the script for the check constraint so 
thanks very much uh, for watching this video and i hope uh, this scenario will help you in the real time and uh, i will have this script uh, how to generate the scripts uh, to disable all the check constraints uh, on the tech brothers uh, it website uh, so you can uh, take from there uh, i will put the link in the description as well thanks and i will see you guys in next video